All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over another theme that you can use to help identify entry and exit points for a stock. And you can help to identify when the fortunes of a company may be about to turn. And identify that a little bit before everybody else. And so this concept is to think about the first derivative. And first derivative, this is just a concept from calculus, kind of a basic concept about the change of a slope of a curve. And we're not gonna actually do any math in this video, so don't worry about that. I just wanna apply the idea sort of thematically. And I'll show instances where you can identify this when a company's prospects are accelerating upward or when a company's prospects are declining and about to turn. Okay, I'll give a couple different examples. So let's start with a value, sort of a situation with a value stock. Let's say we've got a company where it's uh, in a market that's declining or showing cyclical downturns a cyclical downturn and revenues are dropping say slowly quarter over quarter but then you have a quarter where the revenues okay they drop but they drop a lot less than they did in prior quarters so the rate of decline declines and this is actually a cue that there may be a turn coming it's not a hundred percent guarantee nothing is hundred percent guarantee in the stock market but it's an important signal when you see a deceleration in a decline of a company's fortunes that can imply that a turn may be coming. And the thing is, once the turn comes, like once the revenues start to go up again, it's too late, right? The stock valuation will have already gone up a lot by that, by then. So this gives you a chance to sort of see it happening, see it coming before it actually happens, before it's so obvious. And then you can find that, okay, that quarter where the, the revenue declines were less than expected, this is a less bad than expected quarter, that is a cue, okay? So it's a time to sort of think about, okay, getting into a stock that you've been looking at, you think is a good company, but it's fallen on hard times, and here's the turn. The turn is about to come. So it's one way to think about first derivative. Okay, likewise, with growth stocks, one way a lot of growth investors look at companies when they're showing growth at a certain rate, okay, the minute that rate of growth starts to decelerate, that's when a lot of growth investors will bail out of a company. So Maybe you think about like a, a, a technology company that's showing, say, 15% growth, maybe quarter over quarter. You know, one year, uh, one quarter, the, growth, the revenue is $100 million. The next quarter, it's $115 million. Quarter after that, it's $135 million. This is sort of an ideal situation where you have growth at a, at a stable or an even increasing rate. So that's accelerating revenue growth or, re or revenue growth at a similar rate. But let's say they print... $100 million, $115 million, $135 million, but then the next quarter is $140 million. So that's still growth, and that's good, but it's growth at a declining rate. And that's an indication for growth investors to usually to bail, to get out of that stock, because when revenue growth decelerates, you actually might have a situation that follows where revenue growth can actually go negative. In other words, you have revenue declines. So the shape of the curve, when that curve starts to decelerate on the growth side, that's a cue to get out. And likewise, when the curve decelerates for things getting worse on, say, a value investment, that can signify a turn and it can get you into a situation before the actual turn happens. So these are just ways to apply first derivative thinking. And it's a tool that I think investors, when you get to kind of an intermediate level, you want to start looking at the shape of the curve, changes in the curve of a company's growth rate. And it will help you make entry and exit points that'll potentially be very, very profitable. Again, nothing's guaranteed, but this is a cue that I find to be found to be pretty useful over the course of my investment career, and you can use it too. So again, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope these videos are helpful.